Do you want to know how to make a flaky and buttery homemade pie crust with only four simple ingredients? Hey there, I'm London Brazil from EvolvingTable.com where you'll learn how to make nourishing meals for your loved ones. And that healthy recipe today is for the best homemade pie crust. This pie crust recipe works great in everything from sweet pumpkin pies to savory chicken pot pies. And we'll first start off by gathering up all of the ingredients that you will need. The first ingredient is one cup of all-purpose flour or about 140 grams. I will be using a gluten-free one-to-one baking blend today. Next, you will need six tablespoons of cold cubed butter. Cold butter straight from the refrigerator helps the dough maintain its shape, while cubing it helps disperse the butter evenly throughout the pie dough. The third ingredient is one fourth cup of cold water. Place a few cubes of ice in water and let it sit for a minute. Measure out one fourth cup of cold water, leaving the ice cubes behind. The fourth ingredient depends on if you are making a sweet or a savory pie. For a sweet pie, use one tablespoon of white sugar. For a savory pie, add a pinch of salt. Now that we have all of our ingredients gathered together, it's time to move on to making the pie crust dough. For this, you can either use a large food processor with an S-shaped blade, or you can use a large bowl with a pastry cutter. Since the food processor takes less effort and arm strength, that's what we'll be using here today. Add flour, butter, sugar, or salt to the bowl of a large food processor. Cover the processor with a lid and pulse 20 to 30 times or until the mixture resembles a coarse crumb. Pour in the cold water and process until it sticks together and forms a ball. Shape the pie crust dough into a round disc and place between two pieces of wax paper or plastic wrap. Refrigerate for 20 to 30 minutes or up to overnight. Remove dough from the refrigerator and let it sit for five to 10 minutes. Once the pie crust dough has chilled, it's time to start rolling it out. Keep the pieces of wax paper on the dough and roll into a circle that measures 11 to 12 inches in diameter. If the paper starts to get wrinkly, Replace it with a new sheet to prevent creasing. Remove the top piece of wax paper and flip it into a nine inch ceramic or glass pie plate that has been sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. Press the dough slightly on the bottom and sides until it completely covers the pie pan. To crimp the edges of your pie crust, simply form a V with your thumb and pointer finger in one hand and press with the thumb of your other hand. Smooth out any rough parts as needed. Now that the pie crust is prepared, let's move on to the different ways you can bake it. To partially bake a pie crust, poke holes in the bottom of the pie crust with a fork. Bake in a preheated 375 degree oven for 10 to 15 minutes or until the bottom begins to dry out. Use a blind baked pie crust in your favorite baked pie recipes to fully bake a pie crust. Poke holes in the bottom of your pie crust and then line the pie crust with a piece of parchment paper or aluminum foil. Fill the paper with beans, sugar, or pie weights. Bake pie crust in a preheated 375 degree oven for 20 minutes. Remove the beans, the sugar, or the pie weights and return the pie crust to the oven for an additional 15 to 20 minutes or until it is golden brown. If you wanna put this pie crust into action, make sure you check out this chicken pot pie as well as this pumpkin pie recipe. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll see you again soon.